hello everyone this is asmrf today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you how to edit photo uh, here is uh, some photos actually uh, i'll edit this photo outdoor portrait and let's open it up this one is stock image i'll give you download link of this image in my video description so don't forget to check it out my video description and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend okay let's start uh, at first i should analyze the picture what is the fault of the, this picture actually there is no fault in this picture but uh, i need to color correction uh, or add some effect or add some light shadows or things okay for that make a copy by pressing ctrl j or command j and after that j and j three copies and this one is our main copies and this one is two this one is one and uh, one and two layer i will use for the dodge and burn options that's why i'm turning off the one and select the two as usual i have done this type of uh, uh, techniques before but uh, i need to do for the shadow and highlighting okay blending mode skin and go to the blending options and just slide the slider find out the highlighted area press the alter button and divide this one and just adjust with the face or highlighted areas okay and hit the okay after that mask this one after that go to the image and apply image and hit the okay button after that select this one turn it on and go to the blending mode in a multiply options and press the right button and go to the blending options and slide this slider find out the shadow areas hit the walter button and just hold it and divide this slider and adjust the color with the shadows and hit the ok button after mask this one go to the image and apply image in this case invert this one and hit ok after that select these two layers make it group by pressing ctrl g and just mark just uh, make mask this one and image and apply image in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok the subtle change you'll get in this picture okay after that i'll just make group these two layers and make it march by pressing ctrl shift alter e okay and then go to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i will add some color or correction this color little bit shadow and highlighting actually uh, highlight just press the alter button and de-highlight the photo or highlight the photo you'll get some dots in your black skin that's uh, okay and just leave it after that exposure a little bit exposure i'll give contrast i'll give a little bit and shadow just minus 18 shadow and press the alter button and slide the slider and you'll find out some dots okay highlighted just white blacks you'll get some dots okay that's good for that okay this one is the photo and clarity 5% and after that go to the effects uh, you can add this one you can haze or dehaze I'll dehaze this one like that plus 7 after that go to the curves from the curves option I'll just click here once and add some grammar that's good and from the camera calibration you can add or you can adjust the color like that the warm color actually uh, the autumn color and adjust the orange color this okay and green like that that's good and go to the sharpening option amount of sharpening increase and add some luminance of re noise reducer and color and luminance and hit the ok button ok uh, let's see what was the previous one this one is our previous one and the now present one and from this image you are getting that uh, some lights are coming from here that's why i will add extra light and i'll take a blank layer by pressing here and just invert this one and 
take the brush and brush first brush or uh, this one you can take uh, brush size is 94% uh, or 50 48 that's nice uh, okay 300 pixel that's good and hardness 0% and just uh, make the opacity 0 100% and flow 100% and click once you'll get a uh, flare and press ctrl T for transform the image and make it bigger by pressing and hold shift and alter button okay after that just make it bigger like that and hit the okay in same process I'll take another blank layer and I'll go to the uh, color and take the orange color this one and hit the okay button same process take brush and click once make it bigger by pressing ctrl T like that and hit the okay button and this layer I'll make skin mode okay and make it group and give the group light and you can just adjust the light with that and hit the ok button ok uh, just make group another group make it merge after that go to the filter and camera filter again in this case I will add some vignette from the effects and just like that and hit the ok button okay uh, and then go to the filter again nick collection color effects pro 4 from the color effects pro 4 i will add some um, just filters from there and i am using cross processing this filter okay, it's loading actually i am using the cross balance here but i am using the cross processing you can use a cross balance here another cross balance uh, you can add this one but uh, I am using the cross process from the cross process you will get a filter from here and other filters you can use one of them actually which one is good for this image you have to find it out I'll I just uh, I'll take this one or uh, this one is good this one is also good but you have to find out which one is perfect actually for the artistic uh, look uh, you should use the warm filter okay and hit the ok button it will take time to save uh, it properly okay and go to the level from the uh, color just adjustment layer go to the level and adjust the lights of this okay that's good and go to the adjustment layer again color lookup and the horror blue color from the horror blue color just reduce the opacity a little bit and go to the adjustment layer again and curves and select the curves just anchor point here and increase like that okay there's the photo i wanted to just edit this one make it march and make it group okay uh it was our the previous photos and this one is our edited photos the moody effect in the photos thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you, you have any kind of question or query, please do comment on my video comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And thank you so much. Thanks for watching.